Sharon Luske here from My Crafty Greetings and I'm doing a Scrappy Tail slash Mermaids Are Real um, video today and I just got this cover plate die in. I was waiting for it and I was so excited because it finally came in Friday so I'm doing this all very last minute but it's such a gorgeous die and this is the Ivy Vine die um, from Scrappy Tails Craft. It's their newest release from the Midsummer Night's Dream release and I think it's just gorgeous. It's got ivy leaves and ivy vines and what's this all got to do with mermaids? Well, here's the deal. I think this die is so versatile. You can just do so many things with it. I made this birthday card. All I needed was a couple of balloons and the happy birthday from this stamp set. And we are also going to turn this to an underwater scene. So I've hand penned myself out a little sketch of a mermaid. Well, it's actually a me <laughs> when I was younger because my brother and I used to play this game upside down in water where we'd shake our hair out so it would go all crazy and we'd be like, let's be mermaids. <laughs> so I've got this um, sketch here and I wanted to transfer it to uh, a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound paper that I have. It's an eight and a half or a, a five by seven, sorry. And I'm just making a mock light box here. So basically you saw, I just used some two-sided tape and this is actually a cutting plate that I have underneath here and uh, just a plastic box that I had. And you can take a look around pretty much anything that you've got that will allow you to stretch um, a clear plastic panel across the width of it and uh, put a little sticky tape on it so that it doesn't slide around. Two-sided sticky tape is best. And uh, if you've got a flashlight on your um, cell phone, which most of us do, or you've got something that will fit in as a flashlight, uh, you go ahead and make yourself a light box. And that way, if you see something, say in a newspaper or a magazine ad that you like, or um, even if it's something that you've printed off of um, the computer and you think, gosh, if I could just trace out this part, it would make a really cool image for a card you can go ahead and go for it so you can see this is all just roughly sketched in and um, when we're going to be coloring things you don't have to worry so much how much detail and how perfect something is when you think of a lot of your stamps especially the floral ones you'll notice that there really isn't frequently tons of detail now this is how I'm doing hair and I'm sorry I forgot to turn on my extra bright lights for this so it's very shadowy and dark but I know everybody gets curious when I draw in hair and wants to see how exactly I do it. And you're basically going to pick one spot and start and then you just add everything out from there. So um, hopefully if you watch this you'll you'll get an idea for drawing on hair and sometimes it's fun to just stamp something out and add a crazy hairdo to it. Um, don't forget, you know, if you're a crafter, you're an artist and everything can happen for you. It's just a matter of taking time to practice and once you've practiced something, you would be absolutely shocked what you're capable of doing. So I missed a little piece on her neck. I've got that there. Now I'm using all Jane Davenport colors today. Uh, there's a neutrals one, the neutrals palette, which I use for skin. And then um, this one is called Glitzy. And then this, of course, is my favorite, the Brights palette. You, know, I've used this before, the Brights palette before in um, a couple of videos for coloring and stuff and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So we're just gonna mix her up some paint here and this again, it's Nina paper. You don't need anything special to do this with. Um, and this is just a paintbrush that I got at Michael's. And uh, you're just basically gonna slap the color down. Don't worry about it too much, it'll work out just fine. And um, once you've slapped a layer on, I'm gonna show you all the little spots that you wanna kind of pay attention to when um, you're coloring because really water coloring or anything anything coloring period is about layers and if you get your layers set up properly everything comes together easily so you can see here I'm darkening up underneath those little seashells there and then I'm darkening up kind of under the rib cage and under the chin and then I'm also darkening underneath her clavicles and the crooks of her arms and it's just like a little kind of dab and swab now I'm using a very dilute amount of what I mixed up to be a nice tan skin color um, all over her face. She looks a little scary with a face that pale, but it's going to come together. And I'm just going to 
dab off some of this red and then I go ahead and I make a crazy mistake here. Her face was still wet and I put the red on and red bleeds and now it looks like she had a fight with a red popsicle. <laughs> So, but that's okay. I'm going to take my brush here and just pick up a more, a little bit more of the skin color and we'll paint around it and in no time it'll look just fine. Now, as far as noses go, you always want to kind of put a little C around the nostrils and then a little line down where the bridge of the nose is and you always want to darken up around the temples. That's what's going to allow that to all pop out. Now, because she's got her cheeks puffed out underwater, we're gonna add a little shadow underneath that and a little bit more around her chin. And now we're just gonna touch in a few little spots where it just needs a little extra color to blend in her arms and make this all work together. I'm dabbing a tiny highlight on the tip of her nose and a tiny little highlight as well on the bridge of her nose, and that's gonna do it for coloring in her body and her face. Now you notice that there's green there. I had actually used a fine tip marker um, to do her eyes, and then I also just added a little bit of green paint. Now I'm also gonna go over her eyes just to finish them out a little bit more fine um, with this liner pen that I have here. And then I'm also gonna take my white gel pen and just tap in the areas that are supposed to be the white around the iris of the eye. And then a couple little kind of glints from the light hitting her eyeballs as well as the light hitting her lips. And then we're also gonna add a couple little highlights then to these little shells that she's wearing. My brother and I previously had made pretend shell bras when we were kids <laughs> and we wore them. Oh my God, we were so ridiculous, but we certainly had a lot of fun. So we are just going to tap in and um, jab in a background here, and it is literally a dab and then slice, slice. So you're gonna go dab, slice, slice, dab, slice, slice, and that is gonna make a beautiful background for you so fast, so easy. This paint is quite watery and you'll notice every once in a while I tap in a little tiny bit of green with my brush and that's just to give it some nice underwater variation. I'm not worried if I'm going over the hair or around her face, it's underwater, it's no big deal. There's my finished image. Now here is that beautiful cover plate die. I've got it all cut out and we're spinning it around so that the little tendrils are going up instead of down. And I am painting this all in with green from the brights and then pink on the tips of the tendrils as well as some purple. You'll notice I'm not painting the top portion there. That's because we're not gonna be using that top portion, but I do want all of this to be green. And I did glue together two layers of Nina uh, Solar White 80 pound um, to make this particular frame. And it's a five by seven, which is awesome. I love five by seven. It's pretty much the only card shape that or card size I make. Now I love this die set and I've got these leaves out here and you're thinking, oh, those are great, Sharon, but what the heck are we gonna do with those underwater? Well, I'm gonna show you how versatile this set is. And I'm sure you've seen plenty of my other videos demonstrating this particular die set. There is just, if you don't have this die set in your collection, you are missing out. <laughs> and I'm gonna have my links below to Scrappy Tales um, so that you can check out these particular products. Just at least go and check them out because that shows that my videos are working when Sabrina, my boss, looks at the stats. And uh, if you are in the market for buying yourself some new dies, I sure would love it if you would use my uh, affiliate links below so many of you are so fabulous and have used those links and I can't thank you enough it really makes this all possible you guys are like my my YouTube heroes I gotta tell ya so here's another trick I keep a sponge inside my glaze and I glaze over images that I want to brighten and um, I'm just literally going over the entire thing so this is gonna seal it but what it does is it also brightens all of the colors and I'm gonna show you a before and after so you can see so there it is after glaze before glaze after glaze <laughs> so you can see that difference it's a worthwhile product then I just buff it with a dry rag just to make sure there's no swirlies. And then we're gonna make this into a shaker card. So I'm actually adding ATG all the way around the outside edge of this. 
And here's what I was talking about with this leaf set. How about some kelp for our underwater scene? All you're gonna do is take those leaves and just bend them forward and then where it makes the stem buckle, just pinch it so it stays in place. So bend, pinch, bend, pinch. And it's just basically swinging them all up towards each other. You can see what I'm doing here. Now, is that not a fantastic thing to have in your arsenal for making any type of of um, card that you want to make under the water having a kelp bed you could just have this die and then make some fish that you've drawn out by yourself or just hand cut and you could absolutely make a very very cool underwater scene so if you lose a leaf go ahead and just glue it back in by gluing it to the leaf above and then what I like to do just to make them a little more sturdy for the ones that are going inside the shaker card is to just add a little tick, tip of glue to the very tip of the leaves and then I'm just gluing them onto the leaf up above. And so that's gonna make my kelp nice and strong. So I've already got two layers of fun foam on this and I'm just approximating where my kelp's gonna go inside the card. And uh, you can see I actually mucked up the bottom of this. I glued her down so that she was facing up. And I thought, well, that's ridiculous because nobody's going to believe she's hanging off a dock if she's facing upwards. So uh, I had to like add a little bit of green to the bottom so that I could hide the fact that I had cut this off too short. But shh, don't tell anybody. I make mistakes all the time when I make cards. You wouldn't believe the silly things that I do. <laughs> so anyways, I get this all glued down. And I'm just gonna arrange them in place and make sure that they're stuck on because I don't want any of the shaker bits disturbing these. Now I'm gonna double check with my frame to see that we have a good array of vegetation at the bottom of our water here. And I just noticed that there's two little spots to the left and that right of that centerpiece. So I'm just gonna split one of our pretend kelps here in half. And uh, I'm actually going to take a spare leaf that was floating around the inside of my desk and I'm going to add it to the tip here and nobody is going to be any the wiser that that wasn't a full and entire um, die cut. And we'll put just a little bit of glue on the back here and glue this down once we get them into place. Now at this point in time, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I sure would love it if you would, if you'd hit that icon and uh, let YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. I so appreciate it. And uh, if you don't want to subscribe, I'm gonna say this, hit the subscribe button anyways. And if you think that I'm terrible later on, I promise you I won't be upset if you unsubscribe to me. <laughs> but at the very least, if you hit subscribe now, I promise you, if this isn't in your wheelhouse for fun, I'll have lots of other videos for you to check out that will, will be fun and that you will enjoy. So now I've got those little diamond things that came from the dollar store and just a little bit of um, clear sequins. I cut off a strip of wood because this is going to be the dock that, that the pretend me, who's way skinnier than I ever used to be, <laughs> but the pretend me is hanging off the dock pretending to be a mermaid. And I wanted to make sure that I had some wood here so that it would look like she's actually hanging into the water from something, not just from midair. So, and I'm actually gonna be wrapping this around the foam and uh, the acetate. That's why I have a strip of um, tape on the back here is so that it all sticks together. So I pulled the protective uh, film off of the foam and then I'm folding this wood piece onto it and then it's all going to stick together. Now the last thing that I have to do to finish up this card here is get the kelp that are on the front glued into place and I'm just going to slide them down into the pocket that's created by all of this beautifully die cut vine work. And this one here I need to make a little bit shorter just so that it doesn't take up all the space. And once I get that sorted out, I'm just gonna flip them forward and run a little bead of glue up the backs of them and push them down into place. Hopefully you can see what an awesome die set this is, this uh, Ivy Branch cover plate die set. It is so cool. And I love this kelp that we made from the Assorted Leaves die set. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you had a blast. Oh, this is a hop as well. So don't forget, um, hit that hashtag and hop along to see all the other participants in the hop. And I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I hope you have a mermaid in your life too, because hashtag mermaids are real. Thanks so much for joining me. Here's some more videos if you're interested. Have a great day. Bye.